YouTube, YouTube, it's your boy Drew, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, so I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and I don't know about you, but I had a fantastic weekend. I had the pleasure and the honor of shooting an Ethiopian wedding, and when I tell you it was just amazing, it was exactly that wonderful couple just a great all-around experience so let's go behind the scenes on this ethiopian wedding and i can't wait for you guys to check out the video make sure you hit that thumbs up comment down below let me know what your thoughts are if you ever shot an ethiopian wedding before what was your experience and y'all definitely hit that subscribe button for your boy y'all know what time it is man it's your boy drew and let's hop right into the video All right, so yeah, Ethiopian wedding. Um, these weddings last around three days. Um, yeah, just a whole lot, but it was all good. <laughs> I'm with the bride right now, just kind of getting some shots of her. Let me see that ring girl, and her girls are about to come in just a moment. Um, we're gonna get those shots. Here they are right here. I got them on the bed, kind of trying to position them how I want it. We kind of move around a little bit. And here we are with the couple so the tradition is they can see each other it's totally different than you know how we do just an american wedding so all right we got her with a beautiful dress um i was got a whole lot of images of them by that window light the window light is always amazing guys so if you're starting out with weddings um and you like man it's horrible in this corner you know, always move the couple by the by if there's a window available or or natural light available through a window or something. You know, use that um, natural light as much as possible when you can. But here I am actually like I have a 8200 with me, guys. And so I actually, if you don't know, you know now. Like I'm always gonna take at least one 8200 with me everywhere I go. So. And just this room with the light that it was giving off, this green, it's just like this ugly skin tone. I went back to my flash to, for these shots here, and um, yeah, the flash shots definitely look a whole lot better. We got the groom getting ready now. Um, you know, I like to stage some stuff, you know, so. But for the most part, you always want to catch uh the memory in the moment so definitely moving around a lot so yeah so with the tradition guys you know the they the you know the groomsmen help of course get the groom ready and then the groom actually you know have a little bit of fun a little bit of dancing <laughs> with uh the groomsmen and um yeah, helping them put on their jacket and things like that here. Uh, of course, I'm on that 24 to 70, um, 2.8 Nikon lens. And uh, yes, I had to scoot back a little bit, a little tight. I do have a wide angle, but I, I got the shots that I needed. A little fun, a little action. These guys was crunk. I had a lot of fun with them. All right, so uh, here, guys, we are in a hotel because... Um, we were going to go to some outdoor locations, but like I stated, in my, if you don't know, I moved to Dallas, so I'm in I'm in Texas, and so it's, it's extremely hot right now. So we found this nice, um, I think they were, yeah, staying there, but yeah, we were in the hotel and found this nice little area, was able to get some, some cool shots. I'm always about lights, so I seen those lights, and it was kind of a, a clean area, so I was like, hey, let's just do it right here, and I'll just say this too, it uh it it actually the the bra actually got a little sick because it was hot and just she got had a headache and just a whole lot so we had to wait on her which was perfectly fine because everything is about her. It's her day. So we waited on her, she felt a lot better, got some fluids in her and um we're doing a few bridles of her right here and uh, the videographer is not in my way guys. I'm telling him to go get, get you know, go through, go through. So yeah. Just some, uh, yeah, knocking out some of her shots. Okay, we got the groom in here now, and 
you know, always about critiquing and posing as part of our job and making sure everything is right. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. All right, we are actually, oh, okay. So yeah, there's my light. I am on a uh, 8600 Pro, yeah. Uh, we are about to do the veil toss. So <laughs> I did like two, ta two takes because we was actually running behind, guys. If you shoot weddings, you know that you're always running them behind. You're never on time. So we made the most of what we had because um, we didn't get any outdoor photos. And it was okay. All the shots that I got, I was definitely pleased with. And here we are at the uh reception location and then of course this is uh like i said an ethiopian wedding so it's a lot of traditions um and here yeah it's like a it was just amazing it was just so much fun and just how they do it's just really i learned a whole lot and uh here i'm just kind of just getting candid moments of everything it's a lot that's going on so we do have a uh uh second shooter is here and um yeah you see him right there and yeah as you can see it's a lot to cover so <laughs> they're getting everyone lined up so they can walk through all right awesome and we have the bride and groom exiting the limo and yeah we are about to uh so i think the the flower girl actually come through and yeah everyone is just kind of gonna go through the middle and the couple yeah of course it's, it's the last one's going through all right so here we got the uh the bridal party kind of going through and i'm kind of like i'm on the 24 to 70 so i'm, I'm kind of getting wide zooming in close getting individuals of them as they come through yeah i'm just like shooting guys it's just a lot going on all right, so we're about to head on the inside. Um, I am on the Z, the new Z63, guys. I, I'm loving this camera; it's, it's super amazing. Um, just great for weddings. Super autofocus is super fast, and yeah, having a good time with this camera. Still learning it, and it's simply amazing. All right, so I am taking the trigger off because everything is so fast-paced, guys. You don't have time to do a whole lot. So I was switching to my own. Uh, uh, on camera flash i had it in my pocket because i already knew i wasn't going to have i didn't even have time to set up my lights my uh, my other 8200s around the around the uh the venue so i'm just rolling with this on camera flash right now we got the parents entering um we got everyone singing all the priests is behind and yeah so everyone is getting ready to enter again it's the same thing just everyone is entering um the reception right now and as I pop up these images, of course, you can see like how I you can see now how I'm using this on camera flash. Um, leave a comment down below if you need a video on how I use or how to use on camera flash. All right. So the bridal party has already entered and now the couple is getting ready to come on in. <laughs> all right they have made it to the front at this moment and yeah just getting in with the priest they're saying a prayer things like that and i'm kind of like all over the place shooting and like getting a lot of just everything guys so yeah i'll be like i say i'll be throwing those images up all right priest we've done they've done the prayer and had the word and so uh, priests are leaving because they're going through the line first and it's like you know it's like a big everything that they do is a big thing it's nothing like oh it's just this or it's just that no everything is super like amazing super big for them so even going to get their food um it's, it's a big deal like yeah, I mean everything is a big deal and you know the the, the, the best man and the maid of honor um, you know actually serves them the parents are on the opposite side of the table 
also serving them as well. And I love it. I love the tradition. It's really amazing. So, Eve, like I say, everything that they do is celebrated, guys. It's amazing. Even walking back to their table, I mean, everything is celebrated, man. It's super amazing. <laughs> All right. So, it was a great, like, celebration, guys. I mean, everyone's eating right now. It was just so much entertainment and dancing and just, like, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so everything was, yeah, super Man, it's just super crunk, man. A lot of dancing, a lot of fun, a lot of jumping around and celebrating. Um, here, I have my lights up at this moment. I think I've ate already. <laughs> I had a little bite to eat. And um, so I got my lights set up around the venue. And yeah, I hate to have to show. I'm definitely, guys, going to have to do a tutorial on how I use my 8200s and um, why I have so many, I think I have about six of them, and it's definitely for spaces like this. You see how big this this place is, and so I'm I'm only using four at this time because I have six of them, but I have them in every corner of the building. So there's one right there on the right. I don't know if you can see. You have to pause it, maybe and go back. But yeah, and I mean the lighting was already decent in this place, but yeah just adding a little bit more feel light on in the areas that i that i needed it just came out really the images came out really nice how i wanted them to look so and you always want to make sure this is what i do you want to adjust as you go i mean making sure the look of your images is the way you want them to look and so whether that is, and always definitely check the back of your camera when you're shooting. I mean, I know I'm on the mirrorless camera. Um, people still use DSLR, so uh, just whatever you're using, you know, because I know with certain flat, like with my 8200s, I had a problem with them for a while. And they were just, just overexposing, like just super going super crazy. But I learned you have to really search for whenever you go ever so let me say it like this whenever i go into a different place i just search the signal with the chat with the channels and um i choose the best one so that's what i've been doing and it's been working for me and definitely if you have uh, low batteries in your trigger that may be a cause of it too so make sure you have uh new batteries every time you go out to an event all right we're celebrating again guys everything is a lot of celebration uh, so here we're just celebrating and just having a good time. Man, if y'all enjoying this video like me, your boy, man, I, I am enjoying just going back and looking at it. Make sure you leave a comment down below and like this video, man. I really appreciate it. And always, you know, subscribe to the channel, man. If you want to see more content like this, let me know what kind of content you, you know, you want to look. Or I do a lot of weddings, so I do a lot of everything else. But I, I do my main thing is weddings. But I do like, of course, family portraits, senior portraits, just portraits. Period. Um, corporate headshot type stuff. And yeah. So y'all guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. You know, I'm always going to do behind the scenes on whatever I'm doing so you guys can kind of see and go through the day with me. Um, but yeah, man, we're doing more celebrating and having fun. Let's see. Yeah, singing going on. That Nikon Z63 is a bad camera, y'all. I mean, and, and I just like to say it like this. I know people that may watch this may not be a Nikon user. It's not that many of us around. So. <laughs> it's really not. I'm in the city of Dallas and I rarely see people with uh, Nikon cameras, which is it's okay. Uh, yeah, but whatever brand of camera you use, man, just use whatever you got. That's my whole theory, man. As long as you got a camera, use it. To, you know because you know it's just like it but we back with this z63 the z8 is great and of course the z9 is phenomenal um they're just kind of a little bit too bulky for what i 
what I need. I've been using two uh, Z62s. But, yeah, they was getting crunk, had a good time. They were celebrating. Like I say, a lot of just celebrating. Everything, that the guys was crunk. The ladies were awesome. And we did some cake cutting and super amazing. Everything was, like I say, celebrated in a major way. And, of course, everyone in that place got a picture of course with the bride and groom there's a lot of family photos on that stage and even on that stage guys i had to like really point my camera or hold my camera up really high just because that stage was so high here we are getting ready to exit like i say here we are again more celebration and it was amazing like everything was celebrated which is i think it's amazing it should be celebrated this is a moment that that it should be celebrated yeah man if you made it all the way through this video man i appreciate you for sticking around make sure you leave a comment down below let me know what you thought about the video man it was a good one right and um always hit that like button for your boy and definitely subscribe to the channel to see more behind the scenes content like this i will be leaving a few more images at the end so y'all check those out and y'all have a blessed day until next time Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy Drew and I'm up out this thing.